my name is Göran Nilsson. I work at the University of Oslo in Norway, even if I'm Swedish. I've been there for the last 16 years. My work, I'm a comparative physiologist. I work on animals rather than human physiology. Uh, the great thing with being a comparative physiologist is that I can, I can choose any animal at any part of the planet. So we've been studying coral reef fishes in particular, which is animals that live at a very stable temperature environment right now. So today I talked about what we as physiologists can find out about what animals will do in the future when the world is warmer and has higher carbon dioxide levels. If these increase in the future, this could affect them and this is what we found. We found big effects on both behavior and uh, on the respiratory capacities of these animals. So, so it looked like a dim future for some of them. I like to taking apart the watches and things like that. I like to, to find out mechanisms of how things work. So actually when I started studying biology, I wanted to be an entomologist, but the department of entomology they had in Uppsala, my old university, wasn't that much fun. So I went to another department which happened to be physiology and then I stuck to that subject. I think we as physiologists are, are more broad in our interest than most uh, biologists. I mean, ecologists are usually doing ecology and biochemists are doing biochemistry. But we, 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 we want to know everything in between and also uh, myself, for example, often collaborate with both biochemists and, uh, and ecologists to try to get the whole picture. And I think as a physiologist we are in the center of this organization of biology that makes us uh, ideal to, to put it all together in a big picture. What I've done, at least uh, in my career, is to often jump between subjects. I uh, started off in neurochemistry, uh, I worked on rats and mice, and then I swapped to fish and uh, worked on animals that can do extreme things like living without oxygen. And then I could combine knowledge from different areas into doing things that people traditionally in that area could not do. So I think it's a good idea to actually jump fields a bit and uh, go to different labs as a young scientist to learn new areas and new techniques.